In this lesson we will take the uh, floor slab that we created, the floor type, uh, in our previous lesson and just create a floor slab that goes from this end, slopes down towards here. Um, we can also use some floor editing tools and add some high points maybe in these corners or something so it doesn't puddle in there or something. There's lots of different ways of editing um, floors but we're just going to use the regular um, slope arrow to provide a three inch slope um, from the edge of here down to here. Now the other thing to point out is in this view we're seeing the edge of our stud walls but the actual slab will sit um, butt up against the face of the foundation wall below. We're currently in the top of foundation where a cut plane is at four feet above that. Um, one thing I just noticed is that this uh, grid line should be grid line two and not grid line three so I'll just kind of fix that. So now that we have the floor type we can start our floor tool and we can do that from in here. Let's just um, close this guy off and maximize this view and I'll start by using my floor tool. I go back to home and I say uh, not roof, floor, regular floor. And the first thing we do is check our floor properties to see what level we're on. We're already on top of foundation so that will be the default level. Floor properties inside of sketch mode, top of foundation good. Um, let's set the offset so we don't want it to be right at the foundation here we want a little bit of a curb so let's say that the the flat slab would be at you know minus two inches from top of foundation okay over here um, and that's good and we're not going to use a generic 12 inch we're going to use that four inch concrete slab we created in our previous lesson you could go in and edit that if you want to go in have a look at that over here so that's our floor uh, level the offset and the type hit OK. So all we have to do now is sketch in the perimeter of our floor slab. Well this isn't really a good view to do this. I'm actually going to do this from my top of footing view. Okay because now I can see where the foundation wall is. You can change from view to view during your sketching mode. So I can start by using my rectangle tool, pick that inside corner, pick that inside corner and also lock all of these. Why not right? and hit escape and escape. Now while those sketch lines are there I can jump back to my top of foundation. I can still see those sketch lines. And now what I'm going to do is sketch in some more lines. I'm going to turn the chain effect off. Go from here to here. Lock that so it moves with the door. Here to here. Lock that. Here to here. Lock that on the grid line. Escape, escape. Zoom out. And now I'm going to use my split tool and use my delete inner segments and split this between here and here and now I've got all my edges inside of there now if I wanted to I could just say okay you know finish the floor and it's going to create that slab do you want walls that go up to this floor level to attach no I don't want to do an automatic attachment and then click out now you can see that floor slab below that's sitting right there which is perfect okay let's do a little section here let's go to views Let's draw a section. Let's draw a section over here. Uh, we might as well pull it all the way down and let's flip it looking the other way. I just wanted it through that door. Double click. Oh, I want to pull this out. Escape, escape. Double click on this. And let's go to high detail, fine detail. And we can see there's our slab. Okay, which is just kind of flat, sloping from there, or not sloping from there to there. Okay, we can't see the back of this roof because our the back cutting plane, clipping plane of our section isn't showing enough of that. So I mean we could pull this back here. So now we want to edit this floor slab and add a slope arrow. So we're going to hover over it or pick it from any view you want, tab to get it, pick your floor and say edit boundary. Now we can add in points other ways. This is, this is only one way to slope it. And I can say slope arrow. Okay. Before I place the slope arrow, I'm going to actually check the slope arrow properties, not the floor properties. So I define how I want the slope to work by, by actual slope, which is x over 12, or do I want to just do a, an offset from height at tail. So I'm going to say level at the tail is default, which is going to be minus 
two inches from the floor level. Height offset at the tail is going to be zero. Level at the head is going to be the default level minus three inches. So sloping basically down three inches. Hit OK and now I define the actual slope arrow like this. Escape, escape. So now I can click on here and I can check the properties of it. Okay. The key is from this point to this point is a three inch slope. Finish the floor. Do I want it to attach? No. Click out. Grab this guy. Maybe move it out to the middle here. Double click. And there's my sloping slab. Okay. Now it's actually um, going through the wall here and that is I have to decide do I want the slab to go over top of my foundation wall or do I want the um, the slab to stop up against it okay so we'll come back in our next lesson and we will deal with this little little detail over here uh, let's have a quick look at our 3d view you'll notice I have also added some new tools here to my quick access toolbar so there's our thing right there. There's our slab and when we lowered our garage door uh, we only brought it down to a certain point but if we're going to although it's a bit of a thermal break to have that slab extend out um, we are going to leave the slab as is and then we're going to come back in our next lesson and update the uh, notch um, or level of the door and the profile of this front foundation wall.